Hello guys, welcome to another video on Hypixel Skyblock. In today's video, I will be giving you guys a quick rundown and a strategic guide as to how to deal with the Tarantula Brute Father. So first and foremost, let us begin the video by giving you guys a quick rundown on what the Tarantula Brute Father really is. So let's move on to its abilities. The Tarantula Brute Father has two abilities, Combat Jump and Noxious. Combat Jump states that the spider will often attempt to jump behind you. So now you may be asking what the hell does that mean? Same, same question I had when I first read this ability. So basically Combat Jump is something whereby if you try to run away from the boss, the Tarantula Brute Father will do whatever it can to jump onto you and destroy you into pieces. So basically, even if you try to run away, the Tarantula Brute Father will do this massive jump and it will fly through blocks, any physical blocks and it will land on you upon landing down. So it is basically like a way as to say that no matter how far you run away from the Tarantula Brute Father, you can never escape it. However, that being said, if you do manage to run away from the Tarantula Brute Father and for some odd reason he doesn't hit you with the combat jump, the Tarantula Brute Father will still regenerate back to full health if you do not hit it enough times or if the Tarantula Brute Father is unable to hit you for a certain period of time. It has the same regeneration mechanic as Savan, whereby if it doesn't hit you for a few seconds, maybe, maybe around 20 seconds, it will regenerate back to full health. So. Moving on, Noxious. Noxious deals AoE damage every second and reduces your healing by 50%. I don't exactly know how it does AoE damage, I've always questioned that part, but Noxious simply just does one thing, it reduces your healing by 50%. That is as clear as day and is all you need to know. So, now, what do you require to do to deal with Tarantula Brute Father's Tier 3 and Tier 4? The requirements to do with the Tarantula Brute Father for Tier 3 would be basically just a spider head and any dragon armor along with a radiant power orb. And with that, maybe with a thick tacticians or an aspect of the dragons, maybe a leaping sword can also suffice. The requirements for the tier 4 Tarantula Brute Father are as follows. You have two options. Number one, you can just wear superior armor with a mana flux orb. Or basically, actually any dragon armor with a mana flux power orb can deal with a Tarantula Brute Father tier 4. However, you can also deal with the Tarantula Brute Father tier 4 with the armor set specifically made to deal with the boss, known as Tarantula Armor. So Tarantula Armor is made with simply so, so Tarantula Armor is a 4 piece armor set made of the helmet, chest plate, leggings and boots. So basically it gives you base it gives you good base intelligence and as well as good base stats. But the thing about the Tarantula Armor is that what makes it good is not only just because it gives you a lot of defense against spiders, it also has the best full set bonus out of all 3 Slayer Boss armor sets. Octo Dexterity makes it so that every 4th strike you do double damage and apply Venom to reduce healing by 40% for 4 seconds. Now I don't really care about reducing healing because bosses can't really heal. So it basically says that increase your damage by 25% because every 4th strike you do double damage. And you get why it's OP right? So yeah, even if you can deal with tier 4 Tarantula Brute Father with just superior dragon armor, and a mana flux power up, I will still recommend you guys to get the tarantula armor because because the tarantula boots is actually very useful. The reason why you want to use the tarantula boots is because is because the spider's den is an upright tower. So the ability for you to move up and down with, with, with its double jump ability and combined with the high base intelligence of the tarantula armor, which is actually 50 uh, wait, let me second, 50 and 50 plus 100, 150, 250. It gives you base plus 250 mana, which is higher than superior. And it also allows you to double jump for only 40 mana, which actually makes it a lot more mobility based, which is a lot more useful in the spider's den when everything is an upward tower. And you being able to go up and down easily allows you to complete the quest a lot faster. And thus, I highly recommend for you guys to still get a tarantula armor, even though you can solo the tier 4 tarantula brute father with without even using the armor. So now I'll be moving on to the Slayer level rewards for Tarantula. First and foremost, with Spider Slayer level 1, you unlock the Spider Ring recipe which is which I highly recommend to craft, it is really cheap and you, and you basically get a free talisman upgrade. As Spider Slayer 2, you get access to the Recluse Fang and the Tarantula Silk. And the Recluse Fang is a decent weapon that you may want to consider if you do not have an aspect of the dragons or if you don't have a pigment sword. The Recluse Fang is a good sword 
if you don't have Aspect of the Dragons because when you maxed out its ability, which by the way, um, the item ability allows you to get a, a maximum of 370 strength, it makes the Recluse Fang on par with the Aspect of the Dragons when fighting against spiders. So unless you only have like a Raider's Axe or weaker than that, I wouldn't recommend for you guys to get a Recluse Fang. But if you want to, it's still quite viable. It is quite a decent weapon if you don't have a very strong sword yet. Scorpion Bow at, at Tarantula level 3 isn't really that good. It got nerfed to the ground and at the moment the Scorpion Bow is not very useful outside of the arena. Tarantula Slayer level 4, you unlock Tarantula Leggings and Tarantula Boots. Tarantula Slayer level 5. You unlock the Revenant, you unlock the Tarantula Minion and the rest of the Tarantula set. So here's a pro tip, right guys? As you can see here, even though you only unlock the recipe for the chest plate and the helmet at Slayer level 5 for Tarantula, as you can see at the bottom, it only requires Spider level 4 to use. So essentially, once you reach Spider Slayer 4, you can craft the leggings and the boots by yourself and afterwards go on to the auction house to buy the helmet and the chest plate and, and you can use the entire set at Slayer level 4 even though you only unlock the collection at Slayer level 5. So, that's, so that is a pro tip if you guys want to use a Tarantula armor early on. Next, Tarantula Spider Slayer level 7. Spider Slayer level 7 gives you access to the Scorpion Foil and the Flycatcher. The Flycatcher is basically garbage, you don't want to craft it. This Golden Shovel is actually a Fly Swatter, which has a drop chance of 0.45%. It is garbage, it only gives you 10% extra speed. So, Scorpion Foil, okay, the Scorpion Foil is a very weird weapon. Is that it isn't that strong against spiders. It only does slightly more damage than a 50 mil Midas against spiders. But you need to, but you need to put a wood singularity on top of the scorpion foil in order to make it do more damage than a Midas against spiders. Next, Spider Slayer Seven. You get access to you get access to a Survivor Cube, Spider Artifact, and the Mosquito Bow. So fun fact: when you hit Spider Slayer Level Seven, the, Surv the Survivor Cube actually has no recipe, and you actually get a Survivor's Cube for free once it hit Slayer level 7 for Spider. Spider Artifact is basically um, 32 Tarantula Silk along with the Spider Ring as combined with 32 Enchanted Emerald. Next, Mosquito Bow. Mosquito Bow is overly garbage right now. It does less damage in the Runans and the Digested Mosquito has a drop chance of 0.05% but it is the cheapest final Slayer item you can get in the game right now and it is also coincidentally the worst. Thank you for balancing Hypixel. <laughs> really appreciate that garbage balancing you have. Oh yeah, so Spider Slayer 8, which I which I already unlocked, actually gives you plus 10% alchemy XP. So that's just a bonus if you want to get alchemy level 50, even though I don't really know why you want it, but maybe you want longer potions, right? Who am I to judge? So yeah, with that, let's move on to the boss drop. Spider Catalyst, it has a 1% drop rate and you require Spider Slayer level 2 for it to drop but you do require to fight a tier 3 Tarantula Brute Father or higher to have a chance for it to drop. The drops are 1%. This, this enchanted book that can be dropped by the Tarantula Brute Father as soon as it hit Tarantula Slayer level 4 is actually a bane of Arthropod 6 book. It is a 1% drop and it is worse than the Spider Catalyst because it doesn't even sell for 100,000 coins. It only sells for like 20,000 coins. Absolute garbage. Fly Swatter. The Fly Swatter has a drop chance of 0.45%. It is used to craft the Fly Catcher as shown just now in my review of every single item in the Tarantula Brute Father. It, has a, it, is, it is the most common RN Jesus item but it is also coincidentally the worst RNG Jesus item. So yeah, moving on, the Tarantula Talisman, the only thing that is actually quite good here. The Tarantula Talisman can only be gotten as soon as you hit Tarantula Slayer level 6 and it has a chance to be dropped ever since you hit Tarantula Slayer 6. You have to fight a minimum of tier 3 in order for it to drop, it has a drop chance of 0.1518%. The Tarantula Talisman is an epic talisman which, which ability states that every 10th melee hit you do, that 10th hit will do 10% extra damage. So yeah, it is actually quite a decent talisman and it also gives good reforges. The Digested Mosquito, the one used to craft the Garbage Mosquito Bow, has a drop chance of 0.05%. It is the rarest drop out of every single RN Jesus item here, and it is surprisingly worse than the Tarantula Talisman. Although it does sell for more, it sells for only around 30 million coins, the cheapest of all three Slayer final drops. And with that, let's move on to the next part of the video. Hello guys, so now I'll be showing you guys how I actually clear the tier 4 Tarantula Brute Father with just the spider hat. 
and with the unstable dragon armor, which is which isn't superior. So I'll show you guys how to deal with tier four. I forgot to mention this earlier on, but you can actually. But if you want an easier time with dealing the Tarantula Brute Father, you can actually try using the Spider Head plus the Tarantula Chest Blade. Okay, I'll show you why. You look at this Tarantula, look at this Chest Blade here. It has an extra bonus known as Antitoxin, which basically makes you immune to healing reduction. So that means the main problem of the Tarantula Brute Father, which is the ability for it to reduce your healing by half, is now nullified with the Chest Blade. And so because of that, all you genuinely need is just the Chest Blade as well as a spider head. Like, the spider head just reduces extra damage, so... Yeah, it's just good in general. Push sword, jeez, oh I'm using the wrong sword, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna die. Okay, this is not good, this is not good, this is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Oh my god! Ah! Okay, overflux, save me. Okay, I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry. Ah! Go away, go away, go away. Thank you, oh my god. Dude, okay, I need to change my sword. Give me a second. Yes, there we go. This is not what I'm supposed to use. It's not a pooch sword. Sorry, I was grinding Savan just now. If you look at the right hand side just now, I was actually fighting a tier 4 Savan. Oh, and while you guys are watching me kill Tarantula Brute Fathers, now would be the perfect time for me to advertise about my Discord server. So if you guys haven't joined my Discord server, be sure to join and click on the link in the description down below as well as to subscribe and like the video. Because I do weekly giveaways as well as giveaways whenever I hit a milestone amount of subscribers on my channel and they are generally quite big, amounting to around 10 million coins or even more of giveaways. So yeah, do not forget to join the discord server and i would love to talk to you guys and i would love to talk to you guys when you guys do join it i hope to see you guys there and with that let's get on to the video okay guys i just summoned the boss so i have a tip for you guys if you guys are scared of the boss you guys can just do this um i'm gonna show you guys a place where i can where you can deal with the boss a lot more easily you want to go to this cave like this this cave here beside the at the same floor as the nether fortress portal and you want to put your op down and just slap the boss yeah, I don't know why the boss is attacking me, but sure. So yeah, the boss is kind of drunk and is stuck onto a wall, but sure, I guess. So yeah, this is how you deal with the Tarantula Brute Father. As you can see, I'm not dying. Like, If a Mana Flux Power Orb and the Spider Head, you can definitely deal with the Tarantula Brute Father like that. It's actually quite easy. So yeah, you can actually deal with it simply like that. As you can see, my health is a dropping. And it's all perfectly fine. It's just me slapping the boss. Like, the Tarantula Brute Father is a lot more simpler than the Savant Pack Master because it only has one face, and most of the time it's just you cooking it while it just jumps around the cave like a total idiot. And yeah, it's that simple. Thank you so much for watching, guys. So I hope you guys took a thing or two away to, to learn on how to fight the Tarantula Brute Father, and I hope you guys learned something from this video. And yeah, um, I, I don't really plan to do a Revenant guide for the... for for the slayers because i feel like everyone generally can do the revenant really easily but if you guys really want a tutorial on the revenant slayer boss i can make a short five minute to eight minute one because it is actually really simple and yeah basically you just need a reaper function so if you guys want um a video on the on the revenant boss as a tutorial please comment down in the description um, please comment down in the comment section down below and i will try to get to you guys and to possibly make this short video and on top of that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and this is Furball the Heavy, signing out.